man, fuck this shit. Seems like every time I pre-order a game that I'm really excited for, it turns out to be complete dog shit. What's up everybody, it's Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to Rage Quit. And today, we're gonna be talking about Payday, but not the good one that you're seeing on screen. Not Payday 2, Payday fucking 3. I swear, Payday 3 used to be like such a fantasy to me. This game coming out 10 years after Payday 2, a game that I really liked, and them implementing more stuff and building on the core gameplay of Payday 2 and keeping all the wackiness and funniness and goofiness with upscaled graphics and realistic textures and shit. Well, that would have been awesome if it actually fucking happened. Instead, what I got was a buggy fucking mess that couldn't even match make well, had no single player content really, unless you wanted to wait in a queue for a fucking hour, and the pre-order bonuses that I got for getting the $200 collector's fucking edition, I couldn't get until three months after the game had already came out. Gun variety was so boring. They actually were going for something with this overkill weapon package, which you can call down as like a super weapon and mow your way through enemies until the ammo count goes out, and then you have to recharge it again and get another one. Well, that would have been awesome if they didn't have only two things to pick from. A grenade launcher and a 50 cal sniper rifle. Like, my guy, where are the miniguns and the flamethrowers and the rocket launchers and the comically large fucking spoons? Man, this game has no balls. Payday 2 had so many wacky and creative weapons that you could bring in. Payday 3 just paled in comparison with his weapon variety. The most depth you got when you wanted to pick your weapons was between submachine guns, shotguns, assault rifles, and a sniper rifle or two and some pistols. Like, the customization in the game was pretty cool when you could pick different masks for your character and also you could pick like different uh, outfits and stuff, which is something that on the PlayStation version of Payday, you really didn't get. The most you could do was change your mask and though there were a lot of masks, it did get a little boring to see your characters running around with the same outfits all the time. But in Payday 3, you could choose everything from your masks to your uh, trench coat and your gloves and also different skins for your guns. Like, that was pretty cool, but like, the weapons all kind of felt the same, and it's just really boring. I mean, the gunplay is fantastic. I mean, the guns, they feel cool to shoot, and they're punchy, but like, where's the balls? Where's the balls? Captain Winners isn't even in this game. In Payday 2, there was a mechanic where if you were on higher difficulties, the longer that your heist went on for, uh, there was a chance that Captain Winters would spawn in. And he was a captain of a police force. He had his own squad full of uh, riot shield men that covered him like a, like a fucking big old shield. And you had to tear your way through those riot shield men to get to him. And if you killed enough riot shield men, he would go away. But the catch was Captain Winters was in the game. The uh, onslaught from the police officers would not stop. In Payday 3, there is a similar thing where uh, the police squads will call in a van with a radar dish on it that calls in more cops. And you have to simply go outside and shoot at the radar and then the car drives away. Like, that's it. And that's about as much effort as they put in to giving us like a boss fight in Payday 3. Uh, also, when Payday 3 first came out, there were only eight heists, which is an alarmingly low number of heists considering that Payday 2 uh, actually had b a bazillion fucking heists that consisted of every type of scenario you could ever think of. And on PC, you could even mod your own heists and create your own. So that's fucking fun. And Payday 3 had fucking none of that. Of course, there are going to be heists naturally that you're not going to like to pick, so that narrows it down to maybe about three or four heists that you really, really like, and you have to do that over and over and over again, because guess what, guys? There is no fucking level up system in Payday 3. The only way to level up your player character to get more stuff is to do challenges, which keeps you in the game for longer, and that's player retention for you, instead of actually leveling up by getting mo the most amount of loot within a heist, like how Payday 2 was. If you don't remember, Payday 2 has the system where it's a high-risk, high-reward system, where you can get the max amount of bags for the max amount of XP or you could get the bare minimum and get out. Players want the max amount of loot. We want the bags. We want the cash. We want the moolah. And why would you want the moolah? To get the most amount of XP and to get a lot of money so you can buy uh, mods for your weapons and different masks. And the only way to level up your character is by doing specific tasks like playing a mission certain amount of times or playing it only stealth or 
only loud or kill a certain amount of bad guys or I mean we're the bad guys so kill a bunch of good guys it's just really fucking tedious and like these challenges are something you add in later once you have a fleshed out level up system for people who want a little bit more of an extra challenge and extra grind if you're a payday 2 veteran you know that there are many different types of cops in the game for you to fight and for you to encounter like cloakers shield guys medics dozers medic dozers zeal dozers uh Captain Winners, of course, the Tasers, but in Payday 3, there seems to not really be that many uh, different types of cops that you can fight. It all boils down to maybe a Taser, some Shields, a Dozer, and a Cloaker. There are no Medics, there are no Zeal units with uh, heavy armor so that you have to really prioritize on headshots rather than shooting at the body. It just kind of all feels samey. Perk variety is also lacking. I know in Payday 2 there were skill points that you could use to get actual upgrades as well as perk decks that you can equip and level up so that you can get like a combination of different passives. In Payday 3 there is none of that. There are perk decks I believe but as far as actual skill points and upgrading and wacky shit you can do like uh, converting cops over to your side. And no, there's, there's absolutely none of that. Which honestly just goes to show how every FPS game that is coming out now has been like Call of Dutyfied, and there's no real exciting stuff for you to actually unlock other than weapons. It's just kind of all the same stuff that we've seen before. I don't know, maybe I'm just going like really hard on Payday 3 especially because I was really really hoping it was going to be a great game straight out the box. I knew that Payday 2 had a lot of issues and it took a really long time for it to get to where it's at right now. But like, after so many years, almost a decade of making this game and knowing that you had past mistakes and past issues, wouldn't you be able to just like hunker down and really like iron out those problems and deliver a really great game uh, first and foremost without having to just fall back on this, oh well I mean it happened to us before so we have to keep learning from our same mistakes that we've already learned from. Uh, there feels like there's no innovation or excitement within Payday 3 and that's honestly kind of sad considering that Payday 3 had a lot of personality and a lot of like uh, uh, fun to it like I've said before. Uh, Payday 3 just kind of feels like just some boring gritty uh, game where you just run around and shoot cops. There's no real personality to the game. Uh, the voice actors that played in Payday 2 have made a return as certain characters, but everybody has the same voice line. Every heister just kind of feels like a different skin that you put on. There's no real like personality between all of them. There's no distinction other than obviously, you know, the different voices that they have. Even something as simple as giving us the option to tackle heists in specific and different ways, like that is that has been completely stripped from Payday 3. There are two ways that you can complete a heist, either loud or stealth, and this just goes back to what I said that everything kind of feels the same and after a while of playing the same maybe one or two heists that you really really enjoy over and over again and being required to play specific heists because of challenges, that's the only way you can level up, it gets really grindy and really repetitive and that is not not something that payday should be. Payday should be an ever-changing experience where no two heists are the same even if you pick the same heist over and over again. There's no crime net, there's no crime spree, there's no uh, prestige system where you level up and get different rewards every time you reach level 100. No. Like honestly, what the fuck happened? Was this game rushed? Were they, uh, were they forced to cut corners and take out specific things? Because listen, like I said, there are good things in the game. The gunplay is pretty cool. The movement is cool, especially now that you can slide and I mean, like that's awesome. But let's be real, gunplay and movement being good is not something that we should be applauding Payday fucking 3 for. A game that's centered around shooting and moving around a battlefield to flank cops and decimate a police force with awesome fucking capabilities and super badass weapons and looking cool while doing it. But it just kind of feels like there are things missing from Payday 3. It feels like a cake that is half-baked. And when the pretty graphics and the gunplay wear off, this game becomes something hollow and something that I would just rather go Go back and play a jankier version but it happens to be more fun payday 2 but i honestly think that's enough out of me i've been bitching about this game for well over nine minutes now and like let's be real i might go back and play payday 3 when they have a lot more heists and a lot more shit to do i know they're coming out with dlc packs and releasing new heisters that were already in payday 2 and that's another issue that i'm not even gonna like really touch on the lack of heisters and the lack of like actual shit to work for once you reach level 100 or in my case level 90 oh my god or maybe I'm just talking to a brick wall over here because as I've looked up a couple of things, like I see that nobody's really pay playing Payday 3. I mean, everybody in the community kind of feels 
just as disappointed as I am, and maybe we're all waiting out for something good to come out of this game. But guys, please let me know your thoughts below. Did you like Payday 3? Have you played it? Are you even considering trying it? And did you play Payday 2? But this is gonna do it for me. I'm gonna wrap up here. This is Shadow Ninja, and I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.